Hey guys, what's up? This is Wise Matthew again. I've got a lot of good ads for you today, so let's just go ahead and get into it. Okay guys, this is the first app. This game's called Paper Zombie. It's a game about zombies, and you got to stop them from attacking citizens. So pretty simple. Um, I've already played a little bit here, so I'll just go ahead and get into one of them. I'll show you what it's like. Alright, there's the menu, and here's your different weapons. So, you have a box cutter, chainsaw... Um, if you go up here, you'll notice you, you can have um, shotguns, yo-yos, I mean, you keep going over, there's just all kinds of weapons. So it gets pretty fun, and you get more points and stuff as you go on. There's a rubber ducky, you can actually throw that and it'll explode, so it's kind of like a bomb. Okay, so here's a citizen trying to protect, there's two of them. Here's a boss, which looks a lot like Michael Jackson, and then there's enemy zombies. So when you're playing this, you can actually tell the difference. And if you just go like that, and you kind of use the box cutter right now, you swipe it across their head, and it will cut them. Okay, and then you can actually tilt your phone to go left or right, because you got to kind of look for them, otherwise they'll attack you and hurt you. Okay, and also you have like a gun, and all you do for that is you just tap on the screen to shoot. And usually it takes a couple shots. It's really fun, actually. Okay, now, I have a rubber ducky, and you can see this little green thing came up, and that's, that tells you where to throw it. So it tells you how far and where it's gonna land. So you just throw that, and then you'll see it out there, and it'll explode. Or else you can shoot it early, and it can explode early. Um, yeah, it's fun, and it's really handy when you get in uh, more levels. Uh, it just gets really, really hard. So I just beat that, and um, they get really hard, but I just want to show you what it's like. So it's Paper Zombies, check it out, guys. Okay, this game is called World of Goo, and World of Goo is a game in which you are goo. You're black goo, and you have to do these different crazy, wacky, uh, like, connect the dot type of style gameplay to uh, finish the level. So, and every level is different. There's different goals and everything. Uh, usually, it's like a pipe that you have to reach to. So, you have to take one of your guys. I'll show you here. And when you hold it over near the other guys, you'll see a triangle. And that will kind of connect them if you let go of it. But make sure that the triangle is there before you let go. Otherwise, you'll lose your guy. This level is kind of tricky. Um, this one's I'm currently playing right now. And it moves around on you. And if you're not careful, you, you lose some of your guys. So, um... Yeah, you just gotta try to connect it and get a certain diameter. That's what it's looking for. So it says 3.6 meters to go. And you gotta be careful because they'll kind of collapse in on themselves if you don't do it right. So it is tricky. Uh, other levels, you get these little pink kind of um, balloon looking things. And that's basically what they are because they'll help you control gravity. And it's pretty unique and cool. And there's little puzzle aspects this whole game. Uh, graphics are amazing. Gameplay is awesome. Just to play it, just feels great in the hands. So I couldn't recommend this game enough. It's called The World of Goo. And check this out if you if you like puzzle games, you like cute games. Um, you know, you have to really think about what you're doing, and um, it's cool. Like the little noises they make are kind of funny. And every game's every level is different, so it's not the same thing over and over again. Um, so yeah. All right, you guys. I just want to show you another level so you can get a better understanding of like what this game's like. Um, so here's a level where you're the black goo, and these pink things are kind of balloons. So if you take, um, if you connect the black parts, you're basically going to try to take a bridge and connect it over to this pipe, which will, um, end the level for you. And if you ever get stuck, just click on these little signs, and they can help you out, give you more tips. Um, but really all you're trying to do is pretty basic. You're just trying to get over to that pipe for this level, and not every level is the same. This is the mission objective in this level. But these pink things, you grab one of those, and it's like a balloon. You just connect it, and as you can tell, it goes against gravity, and it stops you from hitting the spikes down below. So, like I said, there is a puzzle element to this game, and you want to make sure that, you know, you see the white, there's like a white outline triangle that pops up before you let go of your goo, and um, so that you can keep connecting and go further and further. So we're just going to keep connecting, make a balloon, so we're not... 
Let me go too far down. Oh, and I think one popped. Yeah, okay. Let's try this again. Okay, oh, there's spikes up above. Okay, I didn't see that. So, there's spikes up above too, so you don't want to get too high or too low. Wow, that's really challenging. I uh, haven't beat this level yet. Uh, it's only the second time playing it, but you get the idea. You're basically just trying to make a bridge that goes all the way to the pipe. And I probably won't be able to do it now, but I'll give it a shot. Yeah, see, I don't have enough. But you will run out and you will get stuck and you will have to restart a few levels. But that's pretty much the um, gist of the game. It's called World of Goo. Please check it out. I totally think you'll like it. So check it out, guys. Alright, guys, what's up? This is a game called Race of Champions. And uh, it's a gorgeous game, you can tell. It's real footage. Um, Race of Champions is just a straightforward racing game, but it's it's the graphics are amazing and the controls are really well done. So um, I will warn you that when you download this, it's a pretty big file. So use it over Wi-Fi, of course, and um, you know it, it'll take a couple minutes to download. But after that, you're good to go, and you can just go race. Okay, so here we are, we're racing, and you're going to hold down on the right screen to accelerate, and then the left screen is your brake, and you're going to tilt your screen to turn. And you can actually tilt tilt it pretty good and uh, drift around these corners. And it's really hard to do it right now, so I'm going to do a bad job showing you guys because I'm watching through a uh, camera screen, but you get the point of it, and it's pretty cool. Like, I'll try to drift right here. Let's see if I can drift for you. I think I picked a slower car than I wanted. But you get the idea. And the controls are actually really good. I'm just not showing them off. But really good. The graphics are amazing. Sound quality is great. It's just a really fun, cool game. It's really hard to come by good racing games on the mobile uh, market. But this game is like definitely one of them. And this is the trial version. So you can just check it out and play with it. The racetrack's pretty cool. It's, uh, a lot of corners. Yeah, see, I'm doing a horrible job. And, you know, there's your brake, and then you just tap it again, you'll back up. But, yeah, that's um, pretty much the game. And right now I'm just racing myself. But in the championship, there's another car. Uh, it's just a computer opponent that you get to race. Um, I believe there is multiplayer for this game. I haven't tried it. But, uh, yeah, it's just fun playing by yourself uh, regardless. So check this out. It's a race of champions. You might like it. Alright, this is a game called Marble Buster, and really simple game. Sometimes you don't want the heavy graphics games, you just want the good old-fashioned fun game. So, I'm throwing this in there because that's what it is. It's a good old-fashioned fun game. And you've probably played a game like this before. Um, basically, you're just going to try to match up three colors of the same color and blow them up. Bust them. Now, there's your time going on right here, just to show you. So, um, you just tap where you want it. And that's where it goes. And you can bounce it off the walls on the left and right side. So it makes it pretty easy. Um, levels get really, really hard. But, um, you know, the sound's good. The graphics are pretty good. Fun, fun little game. Um, I found myself playing this a lot. It's just one of those games you can pick up uh, really quick and play. So it's worth it. I'll beat this one really quick for you guys. It's a pretty easy one. Um, I am pretty high, so, you know... Let me know your guys' scores on, that you get on this, and um, if you really like it or not. I find it really fun. Um, sometimes I like these simple games. So, just a couple colors here. Oops. Okay. Need some more grays. Wow, this is actually not turning into be an easy one. But we'll get it. There we go, and level completed. So that's pretty much it. It's Marble Buster. Check it out if you want something fun, easy, quick to play. This is it. Okay, guys, this game's called Brothers in Arms 2 Global Front, I believe, and it's it's a first-person shooter. Pretty good graphics. Um, actually pretty fun to play. Controls are good, and it's putting you right in the thick of the battle. So if you like any of the Call of Duty Battlefield games, uh, this will be right up your alley. Oh, there's a grenade coming at me. And uh, here's the enemy guys. Just tap this to shoot. 
and you get grenades and other weapons as you go on. You can buy ammo, there's a shop for it and everything. But I just want to show you guys the graphics in this game. It's just pretty cool and amazing. I have no idea what I'm doing here. I haven't played this level before. Okay, so we're going to try to go forward. And you can actually zoom in. The movie clip will skip that. You can actually zoom in like this. So, um, you can take a better shot that way. But I'm getting hammered, so I need to get going here. Oh, grenade. Okay, so your left uh, thumbs are right here. I should probably show these guys earlier. This is how you uh, move forward, backward, left, and right, and then you just look around with your right thumb. So, uh, just go in here, and you can go into menu, you can change the sensitivities and all that stuff if you're not comfortable with it. So, um, that's a good option. I'm going to zoom in here. Kind of a plane went over my head. Turn around. Okay. Now, if you get hurt on the left up here, you have a health pack. So you just click that, and your health will be better. And you go into a shop, you can buy all the extra stuff. Oh! No! Oh, a grenade! Just went off by me. So I'm all red, and then I died. But that's pretty much the game. Um, pretty fun. If you like first person shooters, you'll probably like this game. So check it out, guys. Okay, this game's called Shoot the Apple. It's a physics game, pretty simple, but very addicting. Okay, so basically what you're gonna do is you're the cannon, and you're gonna try to hit the apple with guys you launch out of your cannon. So, um, as you can tell, you just aim like that, and you can see the guys launching out. And it gets um, considerably harder every level, and there's always different ways. It's almost like a puzzle. And, um, yeah, it's pretty cool, so I'm just going to show you. Just aim, you hit it, and level's completed. That easy. Just click next level, and again, you're trying to hit the apple. So that's basically the, um, the, um, thing you're trying to do for every level. Like I said, pretty simple, but it is fun, good music. And, you know, it gets a lot harder than that. I'm making it look easy, I'm just showing you guys, because it's, it's hard to play it through the camera screen. So I'm showing you the easier levels, but uh, it does get pretty difficult. So yeah, that's Shoot the Apple, uh, pretty fun and addicting, check it out guys. Okay you guys, this game's called Angry World Boar. It's a physics game, kind of like Angry Birds in a way. The different uh, countries you're going to try to take over, right here and right here. So, there's three guys, I'm going to try to take them over and I have to break down these walls. So, um, walls are pretty easy to break down, so you just throw a grenade at one. And I'll show you how easy it is to take them down. Okay, so pretty easy to take them down. Um, and then now I'm just going to go after the three guys. So, get a little more height. And throw it. That's a pretty good throw. Oh, get him, get him, get him. Ah, oh, we just missed the last guy, so we can get him. Okay, so on this one you're a tank, and you're going to try to take out the parachuters. So, uh, I noticed that I'm going to show you that the um, plain one, but I roll off of this. I'm just kind of showing you guys that there's different modes of this. So, yeah, you just kind of aim and you can take them all out. It's pretty cool. Okay, so now this one you're an airstrike, so you're actually a plane. And you're going to try to shoot down the planes with the tank. So, pretty cool. There we go. You tell them to take them down. Oh. It's pretty fun. And you're trying to take down as many planes as you can. And it gets tricky. It's going really fast. So yeah, that's that. I just want to show you guys real quick. There's more modes to play in this. So check it out. Okay, you guys. This is my live wallpaper. It's called Alive TV. And it's this little dude in the background. as He's just kind of on the spring. He's this TV. And he moves around. He blinks. Um, you can kind of press buttons on him. And he changes channels. This is the free version. But in the full version, you actually program what channels you want. I think it looks pretty cool, actually. Good graphics. Um, there's bubbles that pop up on the screen. I don't know if you can tell really well. There's one right there. And you can change the amount to that. I um, have it on 10 right now, but you can do quite a bit. And everything moves with a swipe of your finger, so it's pretty cool. It's just kind of funny to watch them like, fling around. So uh, check that out, guys. And thanks for watching. Um, I plan on having like a couple of unique videos coming up. So check back, and see you guys later.